submarines, often referred to as silent service, are underwater vessels designed to operate independently of surface support. They have been a crucial component of naval warfare and scientific exploration for centuries. Submarines are considered strategic assets due to their ability to remain undetected and strike at enemy targets without being easily countered. They can launch missiles, torpedoes, and even deploy special forces. Submarines can be used to gather intelligence on enemy naval activities, coastal defenses, and land-based installations. Their stealth capabilities make them ideal for surveillance missions. Submarines have been instrumental in oceanographic research, studying marine life, mapping the ocean floor, and exploring underwater geological formations. Nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines, SSBNs, serve as a crucial component of nuclear deterrence. Their ability to launch missiles from anywhere in the world makes them a powerful deterrent against potential adversaries. Building a submarine is an advanced and complex task that requires expertise in engineering, physics, and marine sciences. It involves intricate systems for pressure management, propulsion, buoyancy control, life support, and navigation. Design and planning are critical phases in submarine construction, encompassing various technical considerations. Hydrodynamics play a crucial role in determining the hull shape, optimizing maneuverability and minimizing drag underwater. Submarines must withstand immense pressure at depths of hundreds or thousands of feet. This requires robust materials and meticulous design to prevent implosion. Ensuring the comfort and safety of the crew in such extreme conditions poses significant challenges. Buoyancy calculations ensure precise control of the submarine's ascent and descent through ballast tank capacity. Stability is a paramount concern requiring careful design to maintain equilibrium in diverse conditions, both submerged and surfaced. Propulsion systems such as diesel, electric, or nuclear are selected based on specific mission requirements. Life support systems are essential to sustain the crew's well-being, providing oxygen, removing carbon dioxide, and maintaining a suitable environment. Material selection is crucial with high strength steels and advanced composites offering the necessary strength and watertight. Fabrication involves precise cutting, shaping, and welding of hull sections. Rigorous hydrostatic pressure tests are conducted to ensure the hull's integrity.
Equipment installation includes ballast tanks for buoyancy control, propulsion systems for forward and reverse thrust, control systems for maneuverability, sensors for underwater navigation and target detection, and life support systems for crew comfort and safety. Earlier submarines used the tower to house the periscope, radar, communication center, etc. Today's submarines have moved the majority of these to the hull. The tower serves as a vertical stabilizer for the submarine when it is submerged. In modern submarines, the tower is employed as a viewing platform when it is above the water's surface, and some are also designed to support the hydroplane. A submarine engine is a crucial component that allows the vessel to move underwater, providing power for propulsion and other onboard systems. Submarines typically use two types of engines depending on their design and purpose, diesel, electric engines, and nuclear reactors. especially for military submarines, stealth is a critical factor. Electric propulsion systems, particularly those in nuclear submarines, are designed to minimize noise, making it harder for enemy forces to detect the vessel. Nuclear submarines have much greater underwater endurance compared to diesel electric submarines. They can remain submerged for months allowing for extended missions. Submarine engines are engineered for varying speeds, from quiet, slow movements for stealthy missions to faster speeds for evasion or repositioning. Testing and commissioning are final stages before a submarine enters service. Sea trials involve comprehensive testing to validate performance and safety. Commissioning marks the official entry of the submarine into service, ready to fulfill its operational role. Modern submarines have an elliptical bow and stern with an extended cylindrical body in the middle. From a design perspective, this is not the best shape because it increases fuel expenses. However, the convenience and affordability of creating the submarine more than make up for the higher fuel costs spent over the course of its lifetime. Additionally, this design provides more room and makes it simple to build many decks. The length of a submarine is directly related to the cross-section diameter of the submarine. The usage of the hull volume is improved by dividing the pressure hull volume into many decks. The maximum number of decks that can be built depends on the submarine's diameter.